when I say 140, other people, you needed the 144,000. Yeah. I didn't need the 144,000. I'm the one opening the book. I'm getting out of here alive. Bet your fucking ass on it. I didn't take anything from anybody. I don't want anybody anything. You can, you can say, I said to this or that or whatever the fuck. You, you got nothing to cling to. All I did was give you truth this whole time and told you to stand thick in truth, fill up this book of life. You're going to get here and it won't cost you anything. If you don't do that, I'm going to take over the universe by myself and fuck everybody in the best way because it's legally mine. It's that you don't have a legal claim to the universe. You're, you're legally dead until you're beside my own publicly. They call it that you have no proof of life. And that's what you need to gain this favor of this mythical force that you don't even know exists. And, and even when you put your blood up today, it might take a year or two for that force to really soak into you and then start giving you these ability to see shit and manipulate reality. But even then, it's that the sac it's all about the sacrifice. When I say going to a blood bank and donating blood, nobody wants to do that shit. Who wants to fucking do that shit? It's tough. I don't want to break it takes thirty minutes, whatever it is what I'm saying. You have to go out of your way to do this shit. Am I correct? You see the red bus over there? But you're not gonna pull your car in there or you're gonna stop at that red bus at the library, or whatever. You know, you have to really be into this type of shit where you you really want to donate shit and sacrifice a part of you to help someone else. It's got to be in you. Yeah. Yeah, there's only a certain you know? kind of people that go donate blood, I find. Nope. And it's always like... I, I know, people like... I'm scared I'm going to catch this, this, and this, and this. It's... You're scared because... I'm, not, I'm selfless, and I know what the sacrifice is for. I know the forces of the universe are possessing everybody that's around. Me. You know what I mean? It's that, it's that when I step into this type of shit, it's a blood sacrifice. What I'm saying is that even if they were selling my blood off to another person to drink like a Capri Sun packet, that's okay. Drink my fucking blood. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Knock yourself out. I know. Your intention's clear already. Listen. You know... I can tell you this, there's zero intelligence out there at all. There's, there's, there's no intelligence. There's absolutely not. For you to even converse with somebody and try and give them the truth, they would look at you like you're crazy. You, you just start off with Flat Earth, or, or nukes are fake, or or this other shit, they would... They, their, their brain would just start to melt so fast. You, they just For them to catch up, it took you years to get... It took you a couple of years to get to this point, right? Yeah, for sure. The rest of the people were... I mean... They still got to get over the that NASA's fake and all those shit fake and they're still pushing all these movies on you like the first man and Elon Musk was sending bullshit up and what, what I'm saying is that it, it, hey, people don't want to know that they're that, that there's a, people would prefer to cling to the atheism shit and that there's no creator and the idea is there is a creator and that creator is taken count mm -hmm. you know Knows when you're sleeping, knows when you're making, knows you've been bad and good, so you better be good for goodness sake. Make atonement for your filthy soul, even if you're a horrible person, okay? I mean, yeah. you might see me as a horrible person, but every chance I get, I'm making an atonement for my sin. Every Look, I got, you see, I got scars and cuts all over me. Every time I go to work, I'm telling you, it's a new scar, a new cut. It's I got scars. It's a burn here. It's a cut there. It's, it's literally... It's, it's not an accident. It's, it's, a, it's happening to me so I could see that it's called blood, sweat, and tears, equity, labor. You were once kings who lived, and now you're working to live. So, you know, this this idea that I would have to work eight hours a day as a plumber. Why, why couldn't people just work like one hour a week as a plumber? You know what I mean? And then have the rest of the time off, and everything's free, and whatever they want. And everybody has a different thing that they learn or whatever. It's not what you do. It's... That somebody goes there for at least one hour. It's not that people have to be sleeping like they are. Things are supposed to be totally different. I can see it. Um, when I say everybody's lost souls, no, it's really that bad. They, people think they could sell their soul to the devil. You can't even find your soul to sell. How could you sell a soul you can't even find? You can't even find your own soul. How could somebody try and sell it to the devil? You think, come on, let's just think about this concept for a second. Selling your soul to the devil, who knows where the fountain of you, fountain of you, this the eternal life, garden of Eden. What is all your wealth? What is that big house that you would sign your soul over to the devil for? What a big house, a 
fame, career, it's all our records? What? You got a fancy car? What is that? Once you realize that this, even if you ask for an extension of life to 300 years, it's not eternal life. You still can't get into the Garden of Eden. You still have no knowledge of, of reality. You still think you're in a ballpark of space. You, you, what I'm saying is that there's no way to fuck it. It's, when I say it's clear who is the devil, people have no common sense. What good is your fucking house? Why would it take, take your soul? What What would the devil want your stupid ass soul? Did you would give away your soul for a house? What, where's the intelligence at? I want you in my army to take over the universe and you're a stupid, filthy soul who sold out for a candy bar. And an ice cream cone. I mean, overall, eternal life, passion guard of Eden, forgive me for all those shit. What I'm saying, in comparison, this is like Jolly Rancher you know what I mean? It's like he sold out for a Jolly Rancher. It's like uh, Peter sold out he sold his, his soul, soul. For, for, for tickets to the Bee Gees or something. So, yeah. you know, the, the whole concept, when you hear people say it's the devil, when you hear talk about devil, don't converse with me. I will turn your brain into mush. It's true. Is your brain not mush already? You can't talk about this shit to anybody. I mean, it's all we can do is talk about videos and try and shake people up. But for you to try and talk this shit I'm saying to somebody I could go to my job and laugh around on the way to work and say yeah you should drink your wife's pussy and, and, and what he'll say back is my wife doesn't menstruate anymore or something like that is what these guys would be saying because you know they're older guys and stuff like that and that's what they've been saying to me so what, I, what I'm saying to you is that that's what they say back you know I say this shit to them because this is the type of shit my wife doesn't menstruate anymore she's got menopause you know this is what I hear. You know I'm saying this shit. You know I'm actually making an effort. I'm telling people that I work with, you're a fucking retard. You can't see anything. You know? Yeah. So, you think you're a plumber or something? You got some skills or something? For heaven's sakes, I'm chipping up half your freaking mess. So what I'm saying is that my, my whole brain is, has turned into a way to, to turn anybody who thinks they have some authority or power over me. It's like, shortly after, if you get close to me, you'll see that you end up doing my bidding as I see fit for the benefit of all and it just it just sort of falls into place it's you to resist it when I say resistance is futile you, to resist what I'm trying to bring forth is like you trying to kill your your children because you know, if you don't get those people that you, you worship to this place with me before they're dead you know, it's you know for them to figure out they need to be selfless I don't care I, I know you, you think children are innocent and all that stuff, but you're the one who raised them from birth to believe in Santa, you know, uh, the Easter Bunny. You know what I mean? That that they are on a ball floating through space. You're the one who gave them all those lies. You're the father of lies. And if you think all those lies that you're passing out just to go along and play stupid, you know, when I say I play stupid, my level of intelligence is so far that my level of stupid is so far. Ahead, it's like I'm shocking people when I play stupid. I, you know, like when I say, "You really think vampires bite into people's legs?" That's me playing stupid. Are you really that stupid? Is there any healing step? I mean, you don't get. You're not hearing what I'm saying. You 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 have to come to this realization. Why would a vampire bite somebody in the neck when all a vampire would have to do is you see, there's like cows everywhere. You want to have milk in your refrigerator when you wake up, right? Those cows are being milked for what? That milk being pasteurized and all that shit. You go to the store, you buy it, right? What I'm saying. All those women out there have an elixir of immortality. Is it? It's yeah. Set. To bite into the neck. It, it didn't make sense. It, it doesn't make any sense at all. It's like. No, no. I mean, this this concept, this place in everybody's head is for a reason. Just to to show you that. When Satan came alive, he could really show you how dumb people really are. It's like from outer space to this shit to that shit. You know, you see reptilian guy over there. Go look at your fucking brain chart. You have the reptilian complex responsible for fight or flight. You're the fucking reptilian. What I'm saying is that, you know, it's <clears throat> everybody's so in reverse. It's just it's already sunk into me. I, when I say I already see the universe as mine and type of stuff like that, it's because it's like, if I just disappear tomorrow, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, you guys won't forget about me. You, you, you all forgot about, you all forgot about, what's his name already, didn't you? What's his name? Uh, 
Devin Mackie. Yeah, we, we, we forgot about him already. Right? It was. Yeah. You see, what I'm saying it's like I could vanish tomorrow. It would be the same thing. Take over the world. If I, but I'm not disappearing. I've been here every freaking day making videos. Show me. I'm alive, making videos, doing work, something. I'm not just sitting, sitting around doing nothing. You know? Specifically, like I said, laying low and staying out of trouble. You can't get mad at me for going to a job like everybody else, right? Mm-hmm. You, you, you send police, or, you can't send police, military, whatever. To, they, they can't, they would, if you said I was a bad guy, they would focus on this one guy, all his devices and they would see that he woke up in the morning, did this with his wife, got off to work, you know what I'm saying, came home, you see what I'm saying, your, your creature had it. And what I'm yeah. saying is that I don't communicate with people that you might, you know, you know what I mean, it's like if you were to, like I said, nobody bothers me, nobody communicates, I don't communicate with anybody. If I talk to somebody, it's like, I'll do a video with you, I want to talk to my wife, son, father, boss, these type of people on the phone, that's it, I don't, I don't answer any other, if I don't recognize a number, I don't fucking answer, I don't get calls bothered by anybody, so what I'm trying to get across to you is that, is that I'm insulated from that type of shit, it's like when I say, I'm not, I get picked up and dropped off at work, I'm not worried about getting tickets, don't no, of shit like that, it's like, I'm like insulated from like, this, this shit. The car got pulled over. You're the one with your driving problems. I ain't getting. I mean, I'm just. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, I'm outside of this, this thing that you you can attack. You can't attack me for nothing. You can't say, yeah, I took money from you. That I don't work. That I'm sitting around doing nothing. I'm fucking around. Whatever. I, I just said, Lalo said for a couple years. We'll pull book. We'll get out of here. You know, it's just, it's just, it's a book of life for a reason. Have the faith in this thing that you've attached yourself to. It's that. The life of the flesh is in the blood. This is, we, we still the good blood makes it alive. It's, it's, that, it's in the ether. What I'm saying to you is it's not something I can get back. I can't go back 